It's one of Minnesota's most popular inventions, the Honeycrisp apple. You might have noticed it can be twice as expensive as other varieties in the store. So why are we paying more for the Honeycrisp than for other apples? Good question. Because you do see it. Matt's got one right here. You got, they, you got it's a big difference. Two dollars and fifty cents in your hand right now. I think this was on sale. I think it was a buck ninety nine. So get a good deal. Nice. Some Minnesota Honeycrisp apples, but oftentimes they're from out west, Washington, Washington State. Washington State mostly. Am I paying more because they have to ship them here? That's not really the. That's part of probably some part of uh -huh. the cost, but it's not the biggest part of the cost. The is it the part, marketing of the name, or is it just that the product itself is? Everybody more wants it. Everybody wants it. Five years. Years ago, the U.S. the Apple Association didn't even track Honeycrisps. Now it's number two wow. in the stores, number huh. two. <laughs> and so uh, the demand is huge for Honeycrisp. So when people we are to, willing to pay that price. People are willing to pay more, so they do pay more. And also the supply is not there yet. They can only produce. They can only produce so much. So yeah. by the time <laughs> you decide to plant an apple tree, it takes three to five years for any of those apples to get So growing. the price could potentially go down in the it future could. with it all these go new down. trees. But the other thing that's too is these guys are a little bit harder to grow, they tell me, and they're harder to um, sort of pack. And so what happens is this honey crisp, the part of the reason we like honey crisp, it has that thin skin mm -hmm. here, unlike a red delicious, which is like a kind of a shoe leather type yeah. skin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Red Delicious. I, I do like Red Delicious. Yes. Heather Brown for the right. Red Delicious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Terrible apple. No, it's not. Um, my, my kids love Red Delicious, but yeah, this stem. Kids, they have no taste buds. This stem <laughs> is really strong. So what happens is this stem gets hits all of the skin here, and you can only uh, get a certain number of Honeycrisp apples. So someone was hard to get off the tree. It's hard to get off the tree. Hard so it's harder to, to pick. Harder to pack. So harder to pick. how many apples can we get off of a Honeycrisp so tree versus like a Red Delicious? One estimate is you only get about half of the apples off the Honeycrisp. Tree, oh. whereas the red delicious, um, you can get maybe 85 to 90 percent of the apples off sure. of that tree. Yeah. So that for sure makes Again, a difference. Again, shoe leather. But these are <laughs> these are. And that might have been going a little relatively too far. minor yeah. factors in the yes, price. This the really reality is, is we want this apple. We love yes. it, and we're willing yes. to pay a higher premium right. to get it. It exactly. gets expensive. How much yeah. a pound are they? I, so, I mean, I've seen stores where they are three fifty, four dollars yeah. a Off pound. Off season, you get four bucks a pound. Yeah. And it's not just Minnesota mm -hmm. that it's popular. It's around the entire United States. Is. And there used to be, yeah, it definitely is yeah. now. Now you, there used to be a patent on this that has since run out. So that's not that's not part of it. So some people assume, well, they have the University of Minnesota patent, but that's but that's, that's not, not the reason. And most of the commercially available ones are from Washington, anyway. Yeah. Yes. I feel like you should have asked before handling my apples. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll go wash it. Uh, well, yeah. It's gonna be washed. <laughs> it's got a little bruise on it. All right, you know what? <laughs> so if you want to go support yeah. your Minnesota orchards and go pick some oh, of those honey crisps today, tomorrow. The days to do Perfect. it.